And you're thinking about polishing your frets, right? Well, good choice here, good choice. Well, here's a couple tricks I picked up along the way. Make sure you don't fuck up your guitar. First off, you mask everything with tape. Make sure you don't fuck up your guitar, of course. If you need me to actually tell you this, you probably shouldn't be allowed with at least 100 meters of fucking guitar, let alone approach them with tools. But that's the start for another day. This one's ready to go. Next thing is taking special care around pickups. Why? Because these things have magnets in them. And if you're a filthy person like myself and the only tool you have available for the job is still wool, well, this shit is gonna leave a lot of dust and debris behind, which is gonna stick to the magnets. And you're never gonna get rid of that shit. Also, make sure you keep your fingers away from your eyes and your asshole and other sensitive places of your body. This is gonna itch like a motherfucker and it's gonna take weeks to get rid of that. Weeks. You've been warned. Another piece of advice you probably consider. Make sure you always work on something you can get rid of. It's a cloth you're ready to throw out, paper towels, newspapers, which as of August 2020 are still being printed out, whatever. Why? Well, this crap. You're gonna find pieces of this crap for months if you don't work on something you can discard, right? So that's something to keep in mind. Now here's one I'm real proud of, one of the few moments of brilliance in my life. You grab a magnet, a little baggie of the uh, simple variety. Make sure you slip tight. And come on. You start going at it with the frets. So as the dust and debris starts falling off, you pick it up with a magnet. I'm a fucking genius, right? How awesome is this? Please don't tell me somebody else came up with this crap before I did, unless you want to see me split my ballsack open with an Oreo cookie or something. Once you're finished, you can just grab a paper towel and remove the magnet. Take it out of the bag and pieces of steel will fall off so you can get rid of them safely. Nice, right? Now, once you're done with the frets, you still have to get rid of these things. And you can notice there's a lot of residue here. You could just peel it off, but the debris is gonna fall off and stick to the magnets. So what do we do? You take a piece of tape and you cover it before you peel it off. Okay, so you make sure it's not gonna get loose and fall back into the magnets and stick there as if you hadn't protected the damn thing. See, there you go. Do that with the other two, remove the rest of the tape, and you're ready to set the thing up. Which I was gonna make a video off, but it's gonna be fucking redundant with everything else that's already on YouTube, so that's gonna have to be it. But since I mentioned setups, people stop me on the streets, rest me on the phone late at night. They wanna know how much relief, how high the high E, how low the low E or the fucking E. And so it's always the same. Not only do I not care, I don't fucking know. Nobody does, really. I mean, try to come up with a specific number for every guitar. It's like trying to come, I don't know, write down the ultimate handbook on how to suck a dick. I mean, you can give out a couple pointers, like what goes where and what part of the body does what. But other than that, it's like, I don't know, dude. Do, do you like your nipples twicked? Do you like your balls to be fumbled with or not? Should braces be involved? I mean, same thing with guitars. No two pieces of wood are the same, besides humans interact with these things when they make them, so there's a little bit of error here and there. Uh, in the end, you should come up with whatever feels right for you. you uh, are you going to upload a video on Instagram and you need stupid low action so you can speed it up and play 100 fucking million notes a minute? Or do you actually need the strings to vibrate so you need a little bit of bow? Or do you play like an ape, like I do, and smack the low E like an asshole so you need this one to be higher than all the rest? In the end, if you need somebody to narrow it down to the 64th of an inch, you're an asshole and you probably should leave it to the professionals. Stay off the forums and, I don't know, trial and error. Only you know what you need. All right, good luck. See ya.
Charles by Sarah to stop Chloe from getting married. Oh. I'm tall. And I'm Lorraine. And we can get you to Niagara Falls. Yeah. 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 Yeah.